I'm back after a four day absence. Uh, sorry for the gap, but there is a secondary project ongoing at the minute that I can't talk about yet. Um, you guys will see this soon anyway, but I'm back with a PVP video, which is kind of what my channel was known for. A lot of people have been asking for some help dealing with Revan or e even with Treya still. So I figured we got a new team to show you. Uh, I mean, a lot of you guys have seen the, the Rebels, the currently uh, rise in, in, in the arena shards right now, but this is a team in which I think is actually better. Now, I know you're thinking what makes this team different to the other Rebel variations. Well, being it's not a true Rebel team in, in, in sense of the word, we're actually dropping R2-D2 in favor of L337. Now, the reason we're gonna be doing this is l has got a pretty, pretty sweet kit, actually. On top of taunting, she's also gonna be able to heal scoundrel allies, Han and Chewie. She's also gonna be able to remove debuffs from them when she's hit. And as a final benefit, she's going to be able to heal C-3PO the first time he would have died in the battle. Now those are some pretty handy features, especially when you're facing Treya. There's an awful lot of debuffs that get thrown around in those battles. When it comes to Revan, there's still an element of RNG, as you would imagine. There is for pretty much any team you use to face Revan. Uh, you can't stun him or anybody pretty much off the you know very first go with Han. Uh, occasionally it works, but a majority of the time it doesn't. So you will still be gambling a fair bit when it comes to that. But it does work. I have beaten Revan. And I will show you in the, in, in the first battle of the video, because I'm pretty sure that's the main reason most of you clicked it anyway. So let, let's stop babbling. Let's get on to some action. I'm going to show you some various teams that I've faced with this and smashed them um, um, and one of the best things for me was I give this a try on my actual shard where I don't have a very good rebel team I mean for that is my, my L3 is only like gear 8 or gear 9 um, but my actual rebels when it comes to Chewie he's only gear 8 with no Zetas C3PO is only gear 8 and I actually got through Scion, Sith Trooper and a Thrawn so all that was left was you know Treya and Nihilus before everything kind of collapsed so another gear level and i'd have probably got through that too regardless like i said they stop babbling and they start showing you some footage and i'll try and talk you through it all as we go okay well what i like to do first is go straight after yoda yoda is the softest character there is and obviously first time you're going to kill one of them they're going to you know fully heal and everything anyway due to revan so go after yoda get him down once it'll immediately come back flatten him again if you can just you know just to save the amount of times he's going to hit you um, at that point, you either want to be able to confuse or, or you know, buff immunity on, onto Kenobi so you can get rid of Joe Lee. Joe Lee is the problem. Now, if we leave Joe Lee too long, he's just going to keep bringing everybody back. So we have to get rid of him as soon as we possibly can. Then we can deal with Revan and, and it's, that's it. Game set and match. It's not a problem from there. Where Al3 is going to come in handy is when it comes to ability blocks and, and, and things like that that are really going to slow your team down, especially with the likes of Chewie, who you want to constantly be using Pulverize. So having Al3 in the team, Al3 taunting, being hit, taking those taking those you know, debuffs off of Chewie and Han, it's gonna come in really, really handy. If L3 dies, try not to panic too much against Revan. It's not as debuff heavy as the Treyer teams are. Losing you know, L3 in the Treyer battle is gonna be significantly worse. Um, but you know, after the first wave of attacks, most of the enemies in, in a Revan team have already used their debuff moves. So you're pretty much safe from that point out. Although it would be nice to have her stay around to actually heal Han and Chewie, it's not absolutely essential to win. So we'll let this battle finish up and then I'll pop back and talk you through the, the Treyer team. This is the one that this team is, you know, is tailor made for. It's absolutely fantastic against the Treyer teams and takes it out just as easily as my Imperial Trooper teams were taking out the old Palp meta. Right, let's get onto the, the juicy stuff. Let's get onto the Treyer teams. I faced various teams. This, this is one of the ones that, that I've come across. Um, and they're really not difficult to beat at all when it comes to using the, the L3 variation of the squad. 
Now, I've, I've faced teams with Nest, I've faced teams with Sift Trooper, I've faced like every variation you can imagine, and it's the same story every time. They're not a problem, they get utterly squashed. Now, I'm, a pretty, I'm pretty scared about actually releasing this video, to be honest, because I run Treyer in Arena, but um, I mean, her days are numbered, and with, with teams like this around, it may be worthwhile for players like myself that are using Treyer to, you know, to make that switch. I was actually put onto this team by my fleet shard mate Fish USM. So a big shout out to him for this one because I hadn't even thought of putting L3 in this team for some reason, despite the fact I use L3 an awful lot. Um, it just hadn't even crossed my mind that her synergy with, with Han and Chewie in and what benefit you would get here. I mean, especially when you come up against like Night Sisters and Plague gets spread everywhere. You throw L3 in the team, well, now Plague's completely shut down as well. Um, so this works in so many ways against so many teams that I, I really think this will be a team that'll, that'll take off and you're going to start to see this in your arena shards. Now I've got a few more teams that I'll demonstrate smashing. Uh, we've got Night Sisters here. Uh, I figured I'd show you Night Sisters because for some reason they, they've had another sort of semi-revival in arena. I've had a couple that popped up here and there and had to you know, slap them back down. Um, this team does an excellent job of that. I mean, you've got Chewie there to take care of, of, of Zombie, and you've got Alfred to take care of Plague, and then you can just you know, rip everything else apart, no problem, because the amount of exposes and the amount of damage output, uh, Zombie bringing you know, Daka back twice really doesn't matter because she's going to go down so quick anyway. In regards to mods, uh, you don't really need to do anything special. Mod them the same way you would normally mod, you know, the, the, the rebel teams. You just stick critical damage, critical chance on them. Uh, with Al3, just get a bit of uh, health or defense on there with some speed. She'll be fine. Um, and, and that's kind of all there is to it. There's, there's, there's no magic strategy to, to actually beating these teams. You just beat the life out of them it does i mean the attack orders that you're seeing in these videos this times so i'm not even doing like the, the you know the optimal way and when we're still annihilating it it's it's just such a great team along with this there's also some footage against the first order team then there's a another trayer team that i've got right at the end you know I'll, I'll just let you guys check these battles out there's there's not much i can say other than just sat here rambling over them so i'll see you at the end of the video for, for the wrap up and I'll, I'll leave you guys to enjoy these battles
And that's it, guys. You don't need to have the strongest rebel squad in the world. You know, I've done well with gear eight and some gear nine against god modded gear 12 characters. Um, so I, I suspect somewhere in the region of 10 to 11 will be more than sufficient to smash these teams. The mods don't need to be the greatest mods you've ever seen, um, but the mods I'm using on these teams right here are not particularly great, and yet what I'm facing is very, very good. You know, most of these teams are god modded. Uh, I've beaten the Sif Trooper variation, I've beaten the Nest variation, so it doesn't matter which version of the Treyarch team you're going to face, it goes down. It doesn't matter which version of the Revan team you face, you stand a fair chance of beating it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please like it, hit the subscribe button. You know you want to. Uh, have a Patreon channel if you do want to support me a little bit further. Uh, and spread the word of the videos. Until next time, guys, we out of here.